Close guard, top person goes for headlock, uh, possibly even an Ezekiel. What are some options to do to defend that? So I guess first option would be just trying to stay mindful and not letting this person get that deep on your head. But that's really the only submission or two they're going to go for, either Ezekiel. Some people can uh, do a neck crank from here. Uh, so I try not to let them get too deep in the first place with a T-Rex arm. Uh, extending my legs away from me, like leaving foot feet on the hips. But if I get caught in a position where I'm stuck here, I can frame. Right, so I put forearm across the neck, I'll reinforce it here. Uh, if Thurl goes to squeeze, he's actually going to be pushing his own neck into this frame. Okay, so that'll you maybe get some pressure. But um, another fancier option, if you get stuck with your head in this position and maybe you don't have a frame, okay, a lot of times I'll look to. Keep a T-Rex arm on the bicep on this side, and then I hip out. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and look into this uh, headlock here. Okay, so I don't wanna turn away from it, I wanna look into it. I'm gonna use my hand up uh, around uh, Fro's neck as a collar tie. Okay, and then I'm gonna open up my guard, and this side's gonna shoot to the far side hip. Okay, so I'm gonna come here. The Fro's gonna stay on two knees. Okay, stay heavy on two knees. Circling out, taking the back. <laughs> okay, so one more time. Am I too close, Dave? Or is that good? No, you're good. Okay, so one more time. He goes for his head lock here. Yeah, I try to frame. I try to look into it if I can. But I can shift my hips out. Yeah, I can grab a collar tie on him. Okay, and this hand is going to shoot to the far side hip. And I'm rolling out. I'm going to take the back. I'm ducking out, continue to pull with this collar tie. So I can climb out the back. Put a seatbelt in. Alright, then look for my finish.